The original tour box uh, has been available for a while. I've made a review of it ages ago and I have been using it since and I love it, don't get me wrong, but as I use only a laptop to work on, I find it very difficult to use when I had a cable to plug in. Cable that's not only taking a limited USB port away, but also tethering me more to the desk when, when using it. And now, Tourbox has got a new Bluetooth version on the way. This, Tourbox Elite. So what is Toolbox, you may ask? It is a very smartly designed and very intuitive to use controller. Controller made for creatives and one that can be programmed to speed up or simplify your workflow when using software like Adobe Lightroom, Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, Photoshop, or pretty much any other software. Externally, it is identical to the original version. The improvements are all internal and with the new software. Finally, it is a Bluetooth connection as well as USB, and it takes two AA batteries. I do want Bluetooth connectivity, but I don't want to have to remember to keep charging it. I personally prefer AA batteries. If that really bothers you, you could get rechargeable ones or just use it with the USB cable. Anyway, now you can use it wirelessly if you want to. And for me, this is a game changer when it comes to this device. So what does it exactly do? It's not a device to replace a keyboard or a mouse with. It's one to speed up your workflow and put a lot of functions like adjusting sliders or shortcuts under your fingertips, under the fingertips of one hand. You can streamline brush resizing, opacity and flow of brushes in Photoshop while actually using them, scroll and edit video on the timeline as well as just color, color grade while editing without taking you away from other tasks. You can assign pretty much anything to, to this that has the keyboard shortcut for and so much more. You can also assign macros to any button. Macros are system specific functions like opening files or links or assigning mouse clicks to any of these buttons, mouse clicks or mouse scrolls, left, right, mouse clicks and scrolling through any to any of those knobs, wheels or buttons. You can also assign tour menu, tour menus to any button. Tour menus are drop-down menus with multi-functions. So if you got specific functions you use in any software regularly, you can bunch them all into one easily accessible menu uh, from, from, one, from one of these buttons. I use it under my left hand and with the right hand, I operate the mouse pointer and the keyboard. The Toolbox is designed in a way that all the buttons fit comfortably under your fingertips and the way they are shaped and laid out makes it much easier not only to use it, but also train the muscle memory to remember what they are. So you don't have to look down to see what you are pressing every time you want to press any of those any of those buttons. Just kind of fits nicely under on the hand. Once you install the Toolbox console software, you'll be greeted with pre-made presets to control the Lightroom, Photoshop and Premiere with. But all the buttons, wheels and knobs can be programmed to whatever you use the most and whatever makes sense to, to you. There are very neat features like controlling the slider with the wheel when mouse pointer is hovering over it or programming double clicks and combinations of buttons to get more functionality out of it. The new features include the speed control of the wheels and the knob. You can also control the vibration amount or switch the vibration completely off. So the physical experience using them is actually adjustable now. There is dual bandwidth Bluetooth connection available with hard, hard switch on the bottom. You can basically use it with two different computers like a desktop and a laptop without going through the connection process every single time. It weighs a bit, it's heavy. It certainly won't be sliding all over your desk by accident. Very well built, like a tank, and it comes in three different colors. This uh, modern smoke black translucent, classic black and ivory white as well. Turbox, this Turbox Elite will retail for $268, I think. Not exactly cheap and putting it closely into the Loop Deck Live price range. It is, however, unlike Loop Deck, a Bluetooth device and you don't need to use cable to connect it to the computer if you don't want to. It is much simpler as well and in a way easier to use too. Conclusion, 
It is an update from the original version, but not huge. The dual Bluetooth connectivity, few improvements to the knobs and wheels, and some new functionality of the software, and it is about $100 more expensive than the original one. It is not must-have device. It is something that is luxury and not certainly for, for everyone. It is a tool that could be a game changer to any creative individual if you commit to using it. It takes a while to get used to and train that muscle memory to use it effortlessly without thinking about it. It also takes a while to get it set up in a way that it helps you work faster instead of being a hassle. If you do commit to it, it is really good and it really can change how you work with any software. The price is making it a good value for money if you use it and it doesn't end up in a desk drawer forever. I like the original one a lot and the wireless connection connectivity makes this Elite version even better. I do recommend it. And this is it from me. I hope this video was in some way entertaining and informative. And if it was, please give me the thumbs up, comment below and consider subscribing. See you next time. So what does it exactly do? You can assign pretty much anything to this and add it. Haha. <laughs> smells like China. The new features, the new, the new features include the speed control, uh, of the wheel, actually clicking on the computer.